On the sixth stage of the Tour de Rwanda, Premier Kasperskiewicz could not dream of a better birthday gift than a victory. At his 25th anniversary today, the Polish rider of the team Delko Marseille has won the first success of his career in Niamata. After finishing third and second in the first two stages of the Tour de Rwanda 2019, he didn't want to return home empty-handed from the land of Thousand Hills. He went along with the breakaway group, as he has done regularly since the beginning of the week. After 30 kilometers of racing and several unsuccessful attempts, the peloton finally had to let go a group of 10 riders. The lead exceeded barely an advantage of two minutes. The favorites like the yellow jersey Merhari Kudus with his team Astana and Reyn Tarame with direct energy didn't want to leave too much freedom for action. The last two stages of this weekend are already in everyone's mind and no one wanted to take risks today. For the Paul Permanislal Kaskrashkiewicz, the story was different. In the overall classification, he was more than 40 minutes behind from Merhari Kudus. His only opportunity on this tour depended on a stage victory. He's a very good sprinter, but he opted today for a final sprint where he had yet all his chances. Five kilometers from the goal, he attacked alone, hoping that his companions from the breakaway group would not take him too seriously. And following his planned scenario, no one behind him took the initiative for a pursuit. His advantage was only 100 meters. The Spaniard Pablo Torres decided to join, but with only three kilometers to go to the finish in Niamata, it was already too late. For today's classification, the peloton have reduced the difference to 1 minute 19 from today's winner. The breakaway group arrived 4 seconds behind and Pablo Torres crossed the finish line 3 seconds after Premier Schlal Kaspersky's. Normally, I prefer to sprint with a small group. For me, that's perfect. The problem is that last 10 kilometers, the guys were attacking and it was difficult to control the group. The last five kilometers, I attacked in the last climb, after with full gas, and uh, that's it. On the general classification, there is no change for the 17 seconds gap between tour leader Mihara Kudus and Ryan Tarame. Matteo Balilati is 45 seconds behind, and Ricardo Akiri, one minute.